Mantis Marvel Comics Mantis is a fictional character, a superhero appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. The character is a former member of the Avengers. The character was ranked 99th in Comics Buyer's Guide's 100 Sexiest Women in Comics list. She made her cinematic debut in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, portrayed by Pom Clement E.F. Publication History Mantis first appeared in The Avengers 12, drawn by Don Heck, and created by writer Steve Englehart. The character later appeared in books published by other comic book companies, moving from Marvel to DC 2 Eclipse 2 Image and finally back to Marvel again. Marvel Beginnings Mantis is the half-Vietnamese, half-German daughter of Gustav Brandt, Libra, and was born in Hue, Vietnam. In her childhood, her father leaves her in Vietnam at the Temple of the Alien Priests of Palma, a sect of the Cree. The Cree believe she might become the Celestial Madonna, a mate with the eldest Kotati on Earth to become the mother of the Celestial Messiah the most important being in the universe. She excels in her martial arts studies, but, when she reaches adulthood, she is mind-wiped and sent into the world to gain life experience. She becomes a prostitute and barmaid in a Vietnamese bar, where she meets the swordsman. She helps him regain his self-respect and follows him when the former villain attempts to rejoin the Avengers. She becomes an Avengers ally when the Swordsman rejoins the Avengers, and she battled the Lion God alongside them. With the Avengers, Mantis has many adventures. She battles the original Zodiac, and learns that Libra is her father, and that she was raised by the priests of Palma. She encounters the Star Stalker, battles Thanos. Claw and Solar, Nuklo, and then alongside the Avengers, Fantastic Four, and Inhumans. She faces Ultron at the wedding of Quicksilver and Crystal. Mantis becomes taken with the Vision, and, although rejected by the android, neglects the Swordsman. Alongside the Scarlet Witch, and Agatha Harkness, she was abducted by Kang. She was revealed as the Celestial Madonna and witness the death of the swordsman at the hands of Kang, only realizing the depth of her love for the swordsman just as he dies. She then buried the swordsman, and battled the Titanic Three. She would learn the origins of the kree Skrull War, the Kotati, and the Priests of Palma. Mantis then formally joined the Avengers and is revealed to be, indeed, the Celestial Madonna and marries a Kotati in the reanimated body of the Swordsman, leaving the Avengers and the Earth to mate with him. DC Comics, Willow After leaving Marvel Comics, writer Steve Englehart carried Manta's tale through three other companies before returning to Marvel. In DC Comics' Justice League of America 42, she appears as Willow. Asked where she came from, Willow replies, This one has come from a place she must not name. To reach a place no man must know. After two issues, she leaves to go give birth. Eclipse, Lorelei. In the Eclipse comics series Scorpio Rose, the character calls herself Lorelei. By this time, she has given birth to a son. What would have been issue A. Lost Lorelei, Scorpio Rose story, was later published in Coyote Collection from Image Comics, the character's fourth company. Lorelei is later named dropped in Engelhart's 2010 novel The Long Man. Marvel history resumes. After she bears her child, Sequoia, she takes the name, Mandy Celestine, and lives with him for a year in Willimantic, Connecticut, before handing him to his father's people, and going into space with the Silver Surfer and battling the Elders. 
of the universe alongside the surfer. The silver surfer finds himself falling in love with Mantis. However, Mantis grows bitter with her life and the way she was forced to abandon her child. This comes to a head when Mantis is caught in an explosion and presumed dead by Silver Surfer. She survives, but the strain of the previous years causes her to literally split into multiple versions of herself, each representing conflicting aspects of her psyche that could no longer coexist inside her mind. The fragments arrive on Earth, and one version of Mantis rejoins the West Coast Avengers team, with portions of her memories missing. Mantis discovers, through the temporarily resurrected corpse of the swordsman, that her psyche had shattered and that she needs to find her counterparts in order to restore her memories. She made her way to New York City where she encountered the Fantastic Four as they dealt with the effects of the Inferno storyline. Kang pursued Mantis, not realizing she had lost her power and hoping to use her to attack the Moonraker, as part of Force Works, and the Kotati alien who had possessed the swordsman's body and married, impregnated her. Her anger at her father in the Kotati center around their defilement of her and that she hates the Avengers for believing their manipulative lies. The storyline was controversial, so much so that Kurt Busiek, in Avengers Forever limited series, retconned the Mantis who appeared in the story as being a space phantom brainwashed into thinking. He was Mantis, and Joe Statton. Eventually, Mantis reappears in the Steve Englehart written Avengers Celestial Quest Limited series. She returns to Earth and merges with her remaining fragmented portions of her personality after the first four are killed by Thanos. The final Mantis merges with them to become a complete Mantis for the first time since her dispersion. Thus reformed, she and a group of the Avengers go into space to stop Thanos from killing her son, Koi, who by this time is a rebellious teenager desperate to leave the isolation of the Kotati homeworld and travel the stars. During the adventure, Mantis flirts with Vision, but ultimately ends the flirting when she realizes that he has feelings for his estranged wife Scarlet Witch, who is jealous of Mantis and Vision's friendship. Mantis also appears in the Avengers Disassembled storyline, although many occurrences in that storyline are illusions. Mantis appears in the 2007 miniseries Annihilation Conquest, Star-Lord, where she is shown as a Kree prisoner who volunteers for a mission led by Peter Quill, a duck K. A. Star-Lord. After the defeat of Ultron and the Phalanx, Mantis takes up residence on the Nowhere Station with the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy. She has assumed the role of counselor for the group, using her knowledge of the mind to maintain a balance with all the very eclectic personalities of the group. During the Secret Invasion storyline, it was discovered that Star-Lord had Mantis use her mental powers to manipulate the members of the Guardians of the Galaxy to join the team against their will. Overhearing Mantis and Star-Lord converse about their deception, Drax shared this knowledge with the rest of the team. This caused most of the members to leave. Mantis was promoted to field status by Rocket Raccoon. Mantis was apparently killed by the Magus, who, upon anticipating that Mantis would use her mental powers to incapacitate him, struck her and her fellow psionic Cosmo dead with a powerful blast of energy. However, it was revealed that she, along with fellow guardians Philavel, Cosmo, Gamora, and the major victory are still alive but being held prisoner in suspended animation by the Magus. She reunites with the other team of Guardians, telling Moondragon that Philavel was the first one killed by Tano's rampage. Mantis later rescues Peter Quill from a group of pursuing Spartax soldiers, though she refuses 
To join his new incarnation of the Guardians, she helps him track down the source of mysterious time quakes that have been plaguing him in the wake of the Age of Ultron storyline. Powers and Abilities Mantis was trained by the priests of Palma to become a Grand Mistress of the Martial Arts. Demonstrated as capable of defeating opponents as skilled as Captain America. She could also instinctively sense weak points in an opponent. And with her skills in pressure points, knocks out beings as powerful as the Thunder God, Thor. She has only lost in hand-to-hand -hand martial arts match to Moon Dragon, and her father Libra. She has attained a mastery of meditational disciplines giving her an unusual amount of control over her body, including autonomic functions like heartbeat, bleeding, and breathing, as well as awareness of pain, allowing her to more quickly heal injuries through sheer force of will, and affording almost superhuman reflexes and reactions. She also had psychic empathy, a telepathic power that allowed her to sense the emotions of others. Mantis gained additional abilities as a result of communion with the Prime Kotati. Her empathic ability enabled her to communicate with the plant-like Kotati and with plant life. To travel in space, Mantis had the ability to separate her physical and astral forms, projecting her consciousness from her body, allowing her to travel into planetary distances. She also had the ability to transfer her astral form to any place where plant life exists. She could form and inhabit a plant-like simulacrum of her human body for herself out of the destination planet's local vegetation. Her fighting skills remained intact, and her empathic abilities were heightened to a superhuman degree and extended to the planet's flora and biosphere. She could control the vegetation within her vicinity. During her confrontations with a powerful Thanos clone, she displayed superhuman strength, a talent to simultaneously inhabit multiple simulacra, and the ability to project strong blasts of energy, but has not been seen using these powers since. As of her appearance in Annihilation Conquest, Star-Lord, Mantis also appears to have gained telepathic and precognitive abilities, and apparently now labors under a constant awareness of future events. The source of these new powers is as yet unclear. Other powers displayed are referred to during the series were pyrokinesis, mid-range mentor training, and invisibility to the phalanx. Heroes Reborn In the Heroes Reborn reality, the alternate version of Mantis is the woman Kang the Conqueror loves, and Kang's motive to attack the 20th century. And the Avengers is to show that he is worthy of her love. Mantis recognizes her love for Kang after he is killed by Loki, who kills her shortly after. House of M In this reality, Mantis is a member of Shang Kai's Dragon's criminal organization, alongside Swordsman, Zarin, and Machete. Mantis is arrested after the dragons are ambushed by the Kingpin's assassins. She and Shankai are two of the three survivors of the group. Television Mantis appears in the Guardians of the Galaxy episode, Don't Stop Believin', voiced by Jennifer Hale. This version is a member of the Universal Believers, the Guardians of the Galaxy members Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot encounter Mantis where she takes them through the tunnels beneath the Spartaxian royal palace in order to save Star-Lord. They go through various obstacles where Mantis tells them to believe. After the group frees Star-Lord, they end up in the throne room, where the cosmic seed energy is even after a fight with the robots there, and a brief fight with Emperor J.S.O.N. 
When Mantis claims that Jason is a tyrant, she tries to attack him only to be subdued by the Guardians of the Galaxy. While being remanded to the dungeon, Mantis still claims that Jason is a tyrant and that they will eventually believe that fact. In the episode, Lion Eyes, Mantis had escaped from the Spartaxian dungeon and has joined her cult. The Universal believe his fellow members in a criminal-only auction house on Nowhere. While accessing the vault in Nowhere's sinus cavity to look for the pocket dimension vial, Rocket Raccoon and Drax the Destroyer run into Mantis who has gained Ebony Moore of the Black Order as the latest member of the Universal Believers. They defeat Rocket Raccoon and Drax the Destroyer and then have the Blood Brothers dispose of them on a nearby planet. Upon the two of them being rescued by Star-Lord, Gamora, and Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Drax the Destroyer confront Mantis and the rest of the Universal Believers on the flagship that was orbiting another planet. They used a device which converts mental energy into physical energy to aid them in combat. With the help of Rocket Raccoon's lies, the Guardians of the Galaxy cause doubt in the cult's belief and thus removes their powers allowing them to defeat Mantis, Ebony Moore, and the rest of the Universal Believers fanatics. In the episode, Black Helmet Women, Mantis, and the Universal Believers were able to steal the sarcophagus from the Guardians of the Galaxy. During a fight on the Universal flagship, Gamora in the Nova Centurion helmet managed to damage the Universal Believers ship and the Guardians of the Galaxy make off with the sarcophagus as Mantis and the Universal Believers work to recharge their flagship's engines. In the episode, Me and You and a Dog Named Cosmo, Mantis, and Ebony Moore drain Cosmo the space dog's energies as part of their plans to disrupt the Rigelian Peace Conference on Nowhere. The Guardians of the Galaxy managed to cause their flagship to crash into Nowhere's cranium. In the episode, Can't Get It Out of My Head, Mantis and the Universal Believers use the advantage of their crashed flagship to turn Nowhere's inhabitants into zombies that obey the Universal Believers' orders, where the zombies build a weapon that they will use on Xandar and the sarcophagus. When their plot is thwarted, the Universal Believer's flagship drifts towards Xandar. In the episode, Rock Your Baby, Mantis, Ebony Moore, and the Universal Believers confront the Guardians of the Galaxy and Cosmo. When the sarcophagus hatches into a warlock, with help from Cosmo and warlock's evolving powers, the Guardians of the Galaxy get away from the Universal Believers film. As Mantis with Chris Pratt as Star-Lord in the 2017 film Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 in October 2015, Pom Clement F. was cast as Mantis for Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. This was confirmed by director James Gunn in February 2016. Mantis is introduced as a ward of Peter Quill's father, Ego, using her empathic abilities to help him sleep when traveling in his human form, although she is also able to sense other emotions. When she makes contact with the subject, she is depicted as somewhat innocent and naive, showing no offense when Drax refers to her as Ego's pet but swiftly decides to aid the Guardians against Ego when she realizes that Quill's ability to channel celestial energy will help Ego achieve his goal of awakening other planets from the seeds he has planted in his travels. As the Guardians try to destroy Ego, Mantis is able to buy them time by traveling down to Ego's core and forcing him to sleep while Groot plants a bomb in his brain. At the film's conclusion, Mantis joins the Guardians. Clement F. will reprise her role in Avengers, Infinity War, and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Video Games 
Mantis is a playable character in Guardians of the Galaxy, the universal weapon. Mantis is a playable character in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, voiced by Ali Hillis. Mantis is a playable character in the game Marvel Future Fight. Mantis was a playable character in Marvel Avengers Alliance. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.